Hey, Fannin Middle School students, Ms. Walters here. This is installment three of our how to training videos. Um, this one is specifically for friends who, for whatever reason, cannot come to school. Uh, maybe you chose remote learning and so you're staying at home and doing all your learning there. Maybe you came to school, but then somebody got sick. And so since you were around them, you have to stay at home for a while. Maybe you're sick at home and it's gonna be a little bit of time before you come back to school. So this is specifically so that even though you're not on campus, you still get access to books like everyone else. We wanna make sure we have that equitable access. So this is the Bannon Middle School page, and we're going to go back to find books, right? That tab for finding books. The first thing you have to do is you have to have searched the catalog to make sure that the books that you want are available. It doesn't do any good to request a book that's not available. If it's not available, I can't get it for you. It means someone else has currently checked it out, whatever the case may be, or maybe we don't even have that book. So, if you don't remember how to search the catalog, go back and look at training video number two for how to search the catalog. What you're going to be looking at today is we're going to be looking at how do I request a book for curbside delivery so that if the books are available, uh, Ms. Walters would contact you and get those books to you. So it's all right here on the same page. You will click this form, this link, and it will open up a new form. Okay, and it does say Please allow two to three days for book delivery, depending on how busy we are and how many requests we have. It may take a bit of time for me to get these books checked out and contact you. First thing you got to do is make sure you put in your legal first and last name. That's to say that if you go by a nickname at school, that's fine, but that's not how the system is going to find you and that's not how I'm going to be able to check the book out to you. This is your six digit student ID, the same number you use when you log into any device for school. Make sure you put your six digit student ID. If you don't put that in, it's not going to accept it. All right, so you would put your first and last name here six digit student ID here. The next one is very important. I need to know how to contact you to set up an arrangement to know which day you're gonna come, make sure we have the same time so that you're not getting here too early. We're gonna make sure to schedule those times when it's not real busy and kids aren't getting picked out up. So we need to have a conversation about how and when that's gonna take place. Right here is just a check for you. Have you checked the online catalog to ensure the books you are requesting are available? If you've not checked the online category, you're going to need to go back and check the online catalog to make sure they're available. All right, so I'm just going to fill in some information here so it'll let me see the next page. So Miss Walter's name, and then we're just going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously, that's not a number, but it does have to be six digits. The phone number, please make sure you put the area code. Sometimes people move to Amarillo and keep their old phone number. Okay, so you want to put in here 326-3514 is the library phone number, so I could put that in. And then if you say no, it's going to kick you back and tell you to go back and look at the online. And this is just, a, you know, this is kind of looking at the, the, the honor system. You really have or you really have it. So let's say you have checked the online catalog and you know that those books are available. You're going to say next. This right here tells you again, make sure that you include the full title, author, and the call number or genre. Just makes it easier for me to go find it if I know it's in mystery, horror, action, adventure. Um, and if it's nonfiction, I definitely need to know the Dewey Decimal number so I know where to go find it. So I do have the first one is required. You have to request at least one, but you'll see that you can request up to three. It's probably a wise idea for you to go ahead and do so if you have three books that you um, are interested in, because sometimes by the time I get to this, if it's a really popular book, someone may have already come in and checked it out before I get to this request. Um, so you might want to have a couple of others on there as well. And let's say I want to check out um, The Screaming Staircase. I want to make sure that I give Miss Walters the full title. I want to make sure I give the author's name, which is Jonathan Stroud. 
And I'm going to make sure that I looked at the catalog and I remember that it was in the horror section. So I'm going to say horror. And then I'm going to submit. And you will get this confirmation that says your request has been received. You will receive a call or email from Ms. Walters within two to three days. Please do not submit another request. All right. Give me some time to fulfill your request. Don't go in and submit another one. And then you're done. It's that simple. All right. Hope that was helpful. And as always, I wish you well.